and I believe you had a study called Testing a Local Inbreeding Hypothesis as a Cause of Observed Antler Characteristics in Managed Populations of Whitetail. Yeah, uh, I played a peripheral role with that. Okay. So uh, I, I was not the geneticist on the team or anything like that, but <clears throat> I think I can summarize. So we studied three populations, two of them free ranging, one in Mississippi, one in Texas, one semi captive population. And through all of the genetic metrics that they use that I cannot begin to explain, um, basically found no relationship. There was really no evidence for any inbreeding depression, very low genetic verse diversity. Uh, we also had cases to where we had uh, individuals with antler malformations. You know, a lot of people would say, well, that's got to be genetics. We would look at those animals and not really find any smoking gun, anything different at all about their genetics.